In our lab, uh, we explore atom-light uh, interactions. But the first step before getting those interactions is to get atoms. So to do so, uh, we use a really common way of trapping uh, atoms in our lab, which is called magneto-optical trap. And that's what we'll go through. We'll go through the working, basic working principle of such a device. So, first, we need to isolate atoms. In our lab, we use uh, rubidium atoms, and to trap, to isolate them from like anything else, like air molecules or other atoms you will find, we put them in a vacuum. So to create a vacuum, we have a cuvette here, and then we just suck up everything without that could be inside, and when it's clean enough, we can just dispense the rubidium atoms uh, inside, so that the cuvette is only filled with rubidium atoms. Now, the next step is to uh, slow down uh, the atoms, because they might be like moving around a lot, but we want them to remain in the same place during our experiment. So to do so, we'll implement uh, lasers, which will like collide from different uh, from different uh, directions, and they will those lasers will uh, collide uh, with the atoms. And uh, by colliding with the atoms, this will induce a sort of like a breaking force to the atom, which will fold them down, fold them, force them to slow down. And uh, so this will slow down the atoms, but they're still like a bit everywhere. So we need to add another element, which is a magnetic field to create a trapping region just at the center, so that they remain in place. So to do that, we just implement uh, two coils, which will create a magnetic field um, around, uh, around the cuvette. And so with this like, really, really uh, first-hand uh, basic on the working uh, magneto-optical trap, or MOT, uh, we get what you can see in the next uh, video. So you can see the really, really small red dot in the center of the frame, in the center of the cuvette, is actually uh, rubidium atoms that you can see with the naked eye. Here we lock the laser used in the Doppler cooling to slow the atoms down. So we need to lock the laser at the correct uh, transition frequency. Locking the laser enables us to trap the atoms visible in red in the middle of the cuvette here. Another important aspect is the alignment of the beams to cover all three dimensional directions. The alignment has an impact on the geometry of the cloud and helps us moving the atom clouds in different shapes.